so we got some more parts. I picked up another foot of half inch hose to finish off uh, this and make uh, this piece a little longer. That'll be going because um, it's just it's too short. Uh, I also got a triple bear or triple square bit set. Uh, because it seems like I'm going to probably end up needing that at some point in time. So, uh, pick those up to have those. So, I don't know if I said it before or not, but the heater valve would not open um, when it was on the car. And so I pulled it, and I didn't realize at the time, but it was full of antifreeze. So, then I realized that the way the heat must work in the car is it comes out of here, the, the antifreeze comes out of here, goes into the heater valve, and then you open and close the heater valve, the line inside the car, and it opens this up. And it allows the hot antifreeze then to go in that hose and then I'm assuming there's some sort of heat exchanger or something inside that warms up and blows the hot air blows air across that heats up the air and that's what heats your car and then it comes out from there and runs to here and then I was always kind of wondering what that steel pipe was and then it hits here and goes back into the water pump so it's just constantly going through the engine and it opens and closes based on that. So then I realized this has actually got antifreeze going through it. And the reason it's metal is because the headers are right there. And if it was rubber, it would probably melt. So that's probably why it is metal. So I got a new one of those in the mail. And then uh, I'm sure you remember from my last video, my awesome soldering job. So I bought some of these. I saw these. These look like they worked pretty well, but uh, we will see. So I'm going to go ahead and undo this, cut those, and do it again, which is actually okay because I noticed there's a couple of splits here and here, and I'm hoping um, once I take this bigger one off that I can get some of my shrink wrap over this and be able to shrink and cover those. If not, I'm going to have to figure out something else. I'm thinking maybe like flex tape might work as well. Um, but I just want to I want to seal those cracks up as well. So we'll, we'll try to do that, but I don't know if my shrink wrap my shrink uh, tubing is going to be big enough to get over this or that. Not 100% sure. So, uh, but we'll go from there. All right. So it's a good day because it's the first day of putting stuff back on. So that heater control valve is back on. All right, so there is the old heater control valve, and you can see something's broken in there. So, <coughs> I'm glad I did replace that while I was in there. All right, so I went to try to get the speed and reference sensors, but I can't get the bolts to move. I got I got a socket in there and I actually taped it to a box wrench and all my might and tried to pull and pull and pull and it just would not move. It wouldn't budge. So I guess I could try to get under the car and everything. I mean that I, I'm assuming that they're gapped correctly when it came out. But I wanted to make sure. So what I did I took an extension 
put it down there, put a little mark on it right at that line. Then took my washer that is 0.8 millimeters and let's see if I can do this. Put this on the end of the line and lined it up with that. Let me see if I can get that together for you so you can see. Okay, so now you can kind of see where that line is. If you come up here, that is just about dead on. So I'm going to assume that that gap is correct because I'm right on that line. And that looks pretty even. Yeah. So, I'm going to assume that that gap is correct. And I'm just not going to piddle with uh, trying to get it exact. Um, but I think we're good. Alright, so, just to be extra doubly true kind of see it so that's even with that mark take my gauge which is 0.8 millimeters and that is I mean almost dead on I mean really can't feel a whole lot so I'm very comfortable with that so I think those are gapped properly all right, speed and reference sensors are back on. So that's two things back on today. Actually, technically, four things. But, yep, so those are back on. And then over here we got Will working on trying to cut out some of this rust too. He just wanted to do it. Say hi, Will. Oh, Will. So... Keep grinding away. So, yep, a couple more holes. All repairable, but we're good to go. All right. Oil separator on. So, another thing back on the car. Moving right along. So, I think next is vacuum lines. Let's see what the big man's doing over here. Got that cut out. Starting to grind that stuff down. Try to uh, get some more of this rust out of here. So, moving right along. All right, so vacuum hoses are going on. Took a while, but I got that finally figured out, I think. Um, we still got to clamp that down, but that took a while, and we had... A casualty of doing that. I leaned on it and I snapped that off. Probably need to be replaced anyway. Look at how rusty and everything it is inside. But yeah, that kind of sucked. So get the rest of the vacuum hoses on. I don't think I need that to start the car. I think that's the uh, temperature sensor for the coolant. I think um, so you know like I said I'm just trying to get it running so I'm not worried about it overheating in the 30 seconds that I'm gonna run it but once again moving by numbers number seven got put on now we're on number six and we'll go to five if he doesn't take his finger off <laughs> so um, we'll show the progress in a little bit So Will messed up. Oh, yeah. So that part was supposed to go in between those two clamps. So, redo. All right, happy Easter, everyone. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get around to firing this thing up today because it's already like 4 o'clock uh, Easter stuff and everything, even, 
even on self quarantine, we still had stuff to do with family and everything. But um, so I'm going to just start rebuilding the, the throttle body and uh, get this put back together. And we will go from there and then we'll get uh, the max airflow sensor put back on. And then the J boots up there. We've got to dig that out. Uh, so that's what we're working on right now. All righty. So the throttle body is on. Just connect a couple of those vacuum hoses. Um, I had heard that this, when you, I don't know if you can hear that click, but that's supposed to do that if it's good. So you're supposed to be able to hear that clicking sound from what I've read. So uh, I think that piece is okay. But yep, that's all back together. And uh, I don't know. Wish there was a way you could maybe paint the throttle body because that would look kind of cool, you know, with everything else painted. But we'll see. You know, that might be something to do at a later date. Figure out how to do that. I don't think it'd be too hard. You just got to this but it's the springs and everything that that I would worry about I have to tape those off pretty good unless you could take it apart I guess you could but I wasn't gonna fool with that part but yep um, yeah so we got that all cleaned out inside there too as well um, it's a little bit of slack a little bit of play here I don't know if that has to do with the fact that it's disconnected from the pedal inside i'm assuming because when i took the carpet out um i don't know so uh, hopefully that doesn't make that big of a deal but getting closer to getting it started okay so for this bottom bolt down here i remember trying to get it out was a hassle so I ended up using, it's, it's 10 millimeter, they're all 10 millimeters. Using an extension and a universal joint. Sorry for the camera work, trying to work one handed. And that is how you get that bottom bolt on and off. So there is the max airflow sensor. Um, we're going to take this, plug that in, and that is on. One more thing on. Things keep going on. That's a good day. All right, so busy afternoon. So, mass airflow is on, throttle body is on, fuel rail is on, fuel lines are hooked up, all the vacuum lines are hooked up. So, all that is left is the J boot, which I'm cleaning because it was absolutely nasty inside, and I didn't want that stuff going into the engine. Um, and I've got to hook the fuel pump up. I just don't have the connectors hooked up to it yet. And then hook up the battery. And that's not the battery for this car, but um, I haven't bought one yet for it. And then give her a try. See if she'll see if she'll start for me. So. I'm going to maybe do it tonight. Probably not. I wanted to try to see if I could get her started tonight, but maybe maybe tomorrow. So if I do, then you'll see it on the video. If not, it'll have to be the next video because I usually uh, do it on the weekends. So have a good one. Happy Easter.